Hey you, you're watching a segment of Shiftcast. If you want to see the other segments or the full episode, you can go to YouTube or you can listen to it on Spotify. Enjoy. Okay. Let's lock in. We got six of them, as always. I'm going to fire a couple off to start. Yes. Ooh. If Zen and Vatira don't win Worlds this year, they'll team up. Yes or no? Um, no. I think we're dealing with two organizations, Team Vitality and Garmin Corp, who actually know what they're doing, right? We have a lot of teams in Rocket League where the players have all the power, and basically if they... It doesn't matter if their contracts still last for two years. If they feel like they don't want to play anymore on that team, they're just not playing on that team and they get benched or loaned out or just bought out, whatever. I feel like Vitality know what they have, which is Zen, Zendra Lamar, some might say. <laughs> and they're not just going to let him go. Uh, I believe Zen's contract is at least until the next year. Um, I just saw this earlier and now I forgot already. But I think it's 2025. Yeah, it's late 2025. So that's that's something you're dealing with, right? Vitality yeah. is not going to let him go before. Oh, well, yeah, that buyout. And I'm, that's a fat buyout. That, that's going to be the, one of the biggest in the Rocket League oh, Esports. the biggest. Yeah. yeah, yeah, probably the biggest. I don't, I don't know. Coming or, or some some of the American orgs have some extremely high buyout for no reason. Um, but yeah, this is going to be extreme. Maybe not uh, monacy levels of extreme, but still yeah. extreme. On on this question of Zen and Vatira teaming up, it feels like it's something that gets brought up all the time. Do you think that those are players that want to play with one another? I never I think, used to think so mm, until I think now. So. I think. Yeah. I, I think. I think Zen would have always been up for it. I think Vatira had this whole thing about how he wanted to be the best. I think he'd do it now. I think he just wants to start winning it again. And he's won one one land in the last year and a half. And I think. And, and then for, uh, furthermore, do you think that? Do you think that's wise for them to team up? I feel like for their stints of, of their careers, they've done very similar things on their teams that they play on. I think I Vatira think has always needed to be. I like. I think every time Vatir is one, he hasn't been the best player on his team. Like in the, in the moment, I should say. Sure, but both of be... them seem to have a more uh, cautious. They're, they're they're not full off the chain like Ato. They're not. Jetting I think up Zen could and, do it. Huh? I genuinely think Zen could morph his game. I think they could he both be of them. the best in the world. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't disagree with that. I, I've long taken the stance that players don't have to always be the same role, mm -hmm. um, but I do think when you have a good organic fit that things just mesh quicker and better. I think that's been a big part of Oxygen's success this this time is Archie wants to play exactly. more cautious and behind the well, other I mean, two. even with Vitality last year, right? Zen fit in perfectly there. It's a great, yeah, exactly. It's Dosen a great fit. just wanted to go, and Alpha's yeah. always been a second. So that, 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 I guess, is where I'm, I'm, I'm curious because I, like, I understand, obviously, Vatira is super successful. Zen is super successful. Put him on a team. You know, that just is, like, community I think narrative. they want to. I think at I think least Vatira... Fatira would like to team with Zen. Yeah. Um, of course, Fatira is really just close with Carmen Corp, the org, the fans, right. everyone there. Um, Zen, to a certain extent, also with Vitality. Mm -hmm. Because when Zen came into the scene, right, people were saying, like, oh, is it, which org is he going to? Uh, is he going to get a lot of offers from different orgs? But it was very clear that Zen wanted to go to Vitality. That was his dream org. And he got a great opportunity there. Yeah. Um, but I feel like if they've been playing the way they've been playing Zen now for two seasons, then there comes a time where yeah. the switch like uh, sure. is on the table. So yeah, I feel like Vatera would want to play with Zen. I don't think Zen would be against it. Uh, and I think it would work as yeah. a team, whether yeah. you put Atto or Alpha or whoever in a third there would be great to see but if it's going to happen in it would be exciting season i'm not i'm not too sure about that one so i'm i'm gonna say not no for 2025 hoodie mm -hmm. luminosity this one sorry the last one was from mop 
no, sorry, the last one was it was, was from Grand Blue. I forgot to say it. Great name, Grand Blue. Uh, Grand Blue, yep. Grand Blue. From, uh, a little One Piece reference, I believe. Um, but this one's from Ethan. Ethan Shift Shifter Shift Quarter loves Sam. Says Luminosity at their current split two form or like their split two form would not have been a top six team in South America. I think that is incorrect. I think they would have been a top six team. I think for a couple I, reasons. One, I, I think, um, I mean, I think they're of similar caliber. You know, maybe they wouldn't be at the top of that six, but I think they would match up very well with that five, six, seven area in, in Sam. But I also think what Luminosity does as a team would probably work really well against Sam. Mm -hmm. um, you know, catch them in a couple demos and some of these Sam teams that play very aggressive, very ambitious. You know, now you're very out of position because you have a player deleted. Um, and I think that could work pretty well for Luminosity. So I, th I think they would, I think they'd be a top six team in Sam. Totally. All right. Totally agree. Michael. What's up? I've got a take from our dog. Not Aardvark, our dog. No team has had a more heartbreaking past two years than Space Station Gaming. Okay. So if we're looking at, what is it? We're in June? Quite a statement. Two years. We're in June. So that would go back to basically spring 21, 22. What was, uh, right. was that? That was uh, London, first London. It so was, that's Daniel... Daniel Rettles Arsenal. Rettles Arsenal. I think if you're looking at the iter if, if we're talking about the iteration between basically when Daniel joined till now, till now I think yeah. you got a really good because you look at Winter Major. Yeah, I agree. Brutal, like brutal. the weird save that like some people think that the game broke. That should have been a demo. I don't think so, but um, and then to the you know the famous Rettles hard the cheat, kickoff Arsenal Oof. go get boost. I don't know how that happens in that moment, but you know it's still happening it's moment, for other teams too. Yeah, and then you have, you know, they go to Worlds. They have a really bad thing at Worlds. Arsenal gets sick, and then their team explodes. Mm. Literally explodes. You have yeah. the two biggest faces at that point, I think, in terms of publicity at NA Rocket League. Yeah. Openly, well, one accusing the other of, you know, going behind his back and telling everyone he sucks and they wants to kick him. Mm. Um, that was they ugly. come back in, they add LJ, Right, and it's supposed to be. Listen, I know it was a rough go, but they got LJ and Daniel and Arsenal. Like they're a top three team in North America. Doesn't work at all, right? Uh, they they do okay in in the first split. That they, they kind of they just fall out of it in the second split. By the way, I was looking at it because I was when I was making this. It, you had to be so ass to not make majors when it was five spots. They were twelfth, eighth, twelfth, and almost made the major. That is crazy. <laughs> to me. Um, but anyway. Um. Yeah. So then you have Daniel leave. You have Chrome leave. You think it's over. They finally get something nice happen to them. Hoxer joins after what two and a half years of not winning a, a regional. They finally make another regional final. They lose, but not even that. In the upper final of that tournament, they were, I think, winning or tied after going down three zero in game seven against Furia. And they all committed, and Yan scored an open goal, and they lost. I remember that. I was in Montreal, actually, when I was watching that. I, I think um, the fact that you have all of this in memory is, like, great supporting evidence to how devastating this has been. There are almost every split, I think, since that original one, there is one back-breaking moment. Yeah. I honestly do think that the last two years, BDS probably has been really rough. Um, if you because they, they won they, the world championship and things they that's what I was gonna say they've got some redeeming moments where L, uh, yeah. LJ Space Station doesn't really have too yeah many redeeming but I, moments. I think SSG I think is the organization that I believe gives you the most simulation of an actual professional sports team yeah where you are constantly being heartbroken and you never win and it's awful, yeah, but they yeah. keep you going enough yeah. to want to do it. I had to finally break away when they added Chicago. I was just not a fan of the move. I thought they should have picked, tried to pick up Justin. Yeah. I know they tried to, something happened, but um, yeah, I, uh, I, would, I would agree. I would agree that Space Station Gaming fans mm -hmm. have it worse than everybody else. They are yeah. truly the New York Knicks of, uh, of, of the RLCS. Uh, yeah. Sorry, what's up? 
Nothing. I was just, all I was going to say is, uh, I, and I'm not a big sports fan, but everybody around me in Arkansas, we don't have a professional sports team, mm -hmm. but our biggest university is University of Arkansas. They play in the SEC. Um, and all of their teams are like good enough to get excited about and cheer for, but they're never good enough to like win anything. So everybody just constantly remains heartbroken. Yeah, that's what it is. That's, all, that's really what it's all about in sports, you know? Hoodie. Yo. From Mop, who says, this will be the weakest EU will we will ever have seen at LAN relative to the competition? Um, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I, I can understand, like, KC missing, so they think that things are a little bit weaker, but I, I don't think so. I think um, the reality is we still have four teams that are capable of winning. I'm not saying that we're going to predict that. We didn't predict it last time either, and the team that we wouldn't have predicted is the team that won it. So, you know, I, I think... It's really not all that much different than what we've had consistently in the past. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think... We, we kind of have predicted EU to be weaker, at least at the very top, because we predicted that we wouldn't have European teams in the grand final. Yeah, but well, like, we look, at the, look at the worst European performances. It's like, in LA, there was one European team in the top six. In season seven... There were there's one European team in the top four. There's yeah. no way you think this crop of European teams yeah. is going to perform to the point where well, there's only one in the top. They four. they also have I an mean, advantage of like sending one less what? team too. Like yeah. Also, Hootie literally said it was going to be one in the U team. So, look, I, I get it. I, you know, everybody still feels like Carmen Core is way stronger than Auction. I I I I've, and not me. frankly, frankly, that's a fair opinion. I'm not even mad at it. But I don't think that Oxygen is just like way off the mark. I don't think Luna Galaxy is way off the mark. I think, if, you know, if that would have been the team to go, I still don't think this is the weakest crop. I mean, it's Vitality, General Mates, and BDS. BD, this is the best BDS has looked with this iteration of the roster all season. I definitely don't yeah. think this is, uh, I definitely don't think this is the weakest EU um, no. candidates. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. So we got, who, who needs one? Yens need one? And All right, well, we'll give you an easy one here uh, from Colt. BDS are the favorites in London. Oh, yeah. They are. <laughs> yeah. They got it. Yeah, be. I mean, <laughs> you don't have them in the finals. Right? Because I, right. I called an underperformance. It's all, I mean, come on, it's all there. There is two teams that are very close, and that's yeah. the two teams you had in the grand finals. That is G2 and Falcons. But... Um, this so just, you think that it's just going to be that BDS will play one of those two teams in the semis and lose like a really tough series? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. I think or, Adam or, going or even quarters. Seven, seven in my prediction, but yes, um, it's tough to say that they're going to win the event, but they are absolutely the yeah. favorites. Mm -hmm. They are the strongest team coming out of the strongest region, and there's not much else you can say about that. Yeah. Mm, was that it? One more for Michael, I believe. Or... Oh, yeah. yeah. One more for Michael. Okay, well, this is from Reese. The Reese dog. Uh, there is no NA player that would improve the G2 roster uh, in a roster change. Like, that is the three that you would assemble. the three best players, but I think that there isn't, like, a one-of-one -one move you could make that would make Can you get closer them... to what you say at the beginning? Sorry. Um, I don't, I, I don't think they're the three best players in NA, but I really? do think, I don't think there's a one-to-one -one swap you could make where the fit would be better, if that makes sense. Yeah. Because yeah. we don't really have like a Rise or like a, sure. a Seiko or like a sort of like, hey, we got like Dan and Beast Mode or like Beast Mode and Atomic or Dan and Atomic. We need like a real role player -y third. We don't have like an elite, elite one of those. All our top players are very much offensively minded and like stars, so to say. Um, so yeah, I would agree. I, I think, you know, I think first kill is probably better than one of those three. Okay. I think LJ, you could argue has been better than one of those three. Um, but I don't think putting LJ or first killer on the team over one of those would make them markedly better. I think they would either stay the same or get a bit worse. And I think we usually think about replacing atomic. Um, when we think about this just because he's older, because for some reason that's a crime in esports. Um, in Rocket but, League esports, yeah, Rocket League esports, my fault. But I would probably still put. I don't think like First Killer would be better than Atomic in the role that he's in. Even though I've always thought First Killer would be a phenomenal first man, he's not. 
his tendencies don't move that way. And I think LJ is a second man and him and Daniel didn't work. I think they'd work better yeah. now because I think Daniel's a better threes player now, but I don't think he'd be better than Dan is with Atomic. So And yeah, earlier on think. in the episode you've been telling us about how Atomic became a better player this split. He's been unbelievable. And yeah, you know has. what? You watch those comms videos and he's really starting to like kind of assume that oldest elder statesman role yeah. at like what, twenty years old, but Still, like you can tell that he's kind of growing Geriatric. into like feeling, yeah, feeling confident about being the vet. He's, he's, right? Yeah, he's also the longest standing G two member too. Like him and yeah. Seth, you probably have plenty of tenure or, or rapport yeah. with one another. And, so. and, and we spoke about this a few a few episodes ago. But the value of a player coach combo is that the player kind of sets the tone for right. the culture that the coach, mm -hmm. like the player, the coach speaks through the player, and then you avoid the issue of the players not respecting the coach. And I think you can tell Atomic has taken that role of like, hey, guys, I won a major. I made a World's Finals because I listened to Sathew. We're going to do what he says. We're going to play the way he wants to play. And it's had incredible results. Yeah. Yes, it has. G2, uh, a team that is alongside Falcons and BDS, it seems as though the community is a consensus. We're expecting two of those squads to be in the Grand Finals. Mm -hmm. I am hoping that's not the case. Hoping for the Cinderella run. I mean, well, if it's going to happen, it'll happen. Obviously, on a personal level, of course, that would be so much fun to see my team do well. But I, I, I really do think if you were to like zoom out, I think a lot of the community would have fun with it as well. I know that there are going to be a lot of fans that are devastated and I have KC at Worlds were that hypothetical scenario to come true. Um, but uh, it's a fun storyline. It's something that I mean, frankly, it would just be insane. I mean, it would be absolutely insane because, there, there, I mean, again, said about, you said it earlier, it, it's definitely not expected. You know, yeah. I think I think it's fair to say that expectations for Oxygen are probably around that top eight area. Um, they've been solid in this second split. Uh, but, uh, you know, a grand finals appearance would just be unbelievable. So I'm is cheering it the for only, it. Is it the only uh, result that changes something for a world's qualification? No, right? That and then you got your OCE battle, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, actually, and Sam, Sam, Sam as well, and right? Sam, yeah. Secret needs to go two, three to get. World so World you got spot. Secret and OCE, or Secret and Chiefs, um, for Sam and OCE. Who they need to go, change. and they they both need the same thing, right? Round five. Yeah. Wow. No. He, so you, yes, but uh, actually, but there's the another Chiefs, one. Sorry, but for the Chiefs, they need to make round five. For Team Secret, if they make round four, it triggers a tie break. Between them. And oh, them. okay, okay. There's another so, one. Yeah. Team Mobula needs to get to the grand finals to make worlds as well. Mm, we'll be looking out for that one, Jens. I'll be keeping a tab on that one for sure. <laughs> I know you. Look, will. I got some you hopium will. for oxygen. I don't have too much hopium for for Mobula. Goody, I have a question. Yeah. When you go to the next oxygen uh, headquarters meeting that you have every week or so, you know, yeah. when you guys go to the lair. Um, yeah. Can you ask them if they'd be interested in putting the three lions patch on the oxygen jersey for this <laughs> thing? The, I think it England, would help with crowd. The England national football symbol. Yeah, dude. I, I uh, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely pass right the message. Here, right, right here. That that that's another layer to the story. Like Joy O back to the copper box the, is where he's British. won. It's it's home full, for those players. Team, yeah. I mean, there's so you, much listen. at play here. Um, it, you know, oh. I look. I don't want to get too excited, but it really does just feel like a script. <laughs> I'm not here to, to to you know give out free business ideas, but the Joyo oxygen jersey with the three lions patch is free money. And when he once again makes some sort of history, you know who do you get a pay raise from? All the <laughs> Just ask for like five percent commission. You'll be in Cancun. I mean, the, the slogans already the there Tom. as well. It's coming home. It's coming home, baby. Come on. That's awesome. Jeez. Hey, here's what I know. Whether it's Oxygen or Secret or Chiefs or whoever, I think we're going to have some exciting uh, results. I think we're going to have some teams probably probably snatch away uh, a spot from either Pioneers or or Complexity or or even Carmi Corp. You know, it is going to be a really, really fun major. You need to be tapped in. We'll meet again next week. So we'll got, yeah, we got we some more content uh, coming your way before the major. Two more episodes to go. Before two more episodes. Oh, we got a special one for you next week. You got to tune in. We, we I mean, do we have a special one. Michael, sure have more Michael has been cooking up some, some fun ideas. Um, kind of the end of the season vibes. You know, we want to give some credit to teams um, and just talk about uh, the different performances and achievements for different players. So 
Thanks for watching this segment of Shiftcast. The other segments and the full episode are available on our YouTube channel and you can listen to it on Spotify.